Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look back at the chest locker plugin. I know last episode I said that it was the finale but I thought yeah one thing is still missing and that is a key, a quick key to open your chest because if you're managing your inventory and you're switching around chests a lot and they're all locked you're going to be getting insane. So what I want to create in this episode is a key to quickly unlock your chest. So let's get to it. So to do so we are first going to check inside the player interact event over here. If the player is actually clicking with an item, so e get item, then it should not be equal to null. And of course e get item dot get type equals material dot air neither. So it should not be equal to null or equal to air. And what we are going to do then is we are going to check if the player is holding a stick with the corresponding uh, the corresponding uh, corresponding corresponding uh, item name that is uh, equal to the code. So what we are going to do is we are going to check if e dot get item dot has item meta and e dot get item dot get item meta dot has display name, so that we actually know that the item has an item item meta and has display name so it won't return any any null pointer errors and what we then want to do is if e to get item the get type equal to material dot stick and of course now we have uh, checked if it's a stick with item meta and a display name we could just going to scroll down and we are going to take a look at how we uh, got the code over here so as you can see last time uh, or a couple of episodes ago, we store it according to the location of the chest. So over here when we are checking uh, if the stick has the same uh, item name as the code, we first need to know what the config code is. So to get that we are going to do the location code, lock code, and that is equal to e dot get click block uh, dot get x plus of course the slash plus uh, same click block dot get y plus a slash and then plus e dot get clicked block dot get z so and then we know the lock code so we first need to check if the string so if the um, uh, code is equal to the display name and uh, what we are going to do then is if um, get plugin so plugin dot get config config dot get string and then we're going to do log code is equal to dot equals e dot get item dot get display name not dot i get item meta first i'm sorry dot get display name and if it is equal we just want to return out of this code so the return statement is like it stops here it just ignores the rest of the code and it will just cancel but if it's not equal to the code what we want to do then is we want to cancel the event and open a new uh, open the locker inventory to check for the locker and that's actually it that's how you create a quick key let's take a look at this at server see you over there so we're inside Minecraft now started up the server and let's go take a look at our quick key as you can see i've created a stick with the name four, four times zero and when i place a chest I set the code to four times zero. I of course can just open it with the bare ha with my bare hands as well, but I can also right click it to quickly open it. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to the Discord channel in which you can also just generally chat with the other people. There's around 80 people at this moment. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.